Welcome, 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 welcome. You tuned in once again to Homespun Sports. It's Sports Dog with just a twist of down on wisdom. I am your host and coach, a.k.a. John 2. And I'm right here in good old H-Town, 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 Houston, Texas. Way up there in Oklahoma City trying to stay warm. My ride of die. Last Peter to share my baby. Boy, what's up, Slim? What's up? What's up, Ken Folk? What up, Ken Folk? I can't call it, Coach. I can't call it. How you doing, man? Oh, man, man. Full of fluid. Ready to do it because I'm used to it. Ready to go, <laughs> man. Ready to go. Let's it's go, super, Coach. Let's go. It's Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl time. And this is our Super Bowl preview show. And we have a DC football legend, a, a former member of the San Francisco 49ers go mm. tell us why they ain't gonna get their ass kicked on Sunday but that's a whole new story <laughs> <laughs> but let's bring them on and ladies and gentlemen without any further ado please make welcome Jamie Winboard. what's going on what's going on what's going on how you doing, us how you doing how you doing Oh man, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I can't complain, baby. We're in the Super Bowl, so hey, I'm I'm happy. I'm excited. I knew you would be. Yes, sir. I knew you would be. Yes, sir. So, so for our listening audience, go back to 1996. I'm at the University of Cincinnati, <laughs> and I had the southeast sector of the country in recruiting. I get a VHS tape from Wetumpka High School. That's and it. they got this hot shot linebacker down there named Jamie Winborn. And I get on the plane, fly down there, and uh, Slim, he on, is, is it Wetumpka, but it's in the country part of Wetumpka. Close to Montgomery, right, yeah. Coach? No, 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 no. They, it's the, op, the complete opposite way. You ain't gonna see no buildings and all that when you come down where I'm at. No, 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 no. no. So, so I'm in the rental car because I fly down on Thursday night to recruit on Friday. We're playing University of Cincinnati, playing UAB in Legion Field, and so then I'm gonna run over to Birmingham Saturday for the game. But I now I gotta find this linebacker and and, and convince him to be a Cincinnati Bearcat. So, man. I'm driving and I'm, I'm, I'm talking on the phone and it's raining and it's lightning and thundering. And Jamie said, go down to this road about a half a mile, coach, you're gonna see a, a, a you're gonna see a telephone pole and make a left. <laughs> so then you go down there about another mile and you go turn right and you're gonna see a store. And it's closed, coach. It's closed because it's limited. It's about nine o'clock at night. He said, This country store is closed, but I want you to call me when you get to that store. I'm going to come down and pick you up with my buddy. <laughs> and I done got lost two or three times in the middle of all this happening. But I finally got there. You oh, picked me up. And we get to, you were staying at your sister's house, right? Yeah, my auntie, Kim. Yeah. Your, your auntie house, yeah. man. We stayed in the trailer way back in the back. It was a nice trailer, but it was, it was a trailer. It was a trailer, man. It was a trailer. We still house. got that, too, by the way. You still? Bless us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember we, where you we, come we, from? We, we refit. We redoing it uh, here shortly. They starting like a week, I think. But yeah. I know, Slim. I never forget what he told me when I finally got to his aunt's trailer. Him and his buddy picked me up. We got in there. First thing he looked at me and said, "He said, Coach, you must want me real bad to hunt, <laughs> to hunt me down, to hunt me down up in these, in these woods this late at night." Hey, <laughs> seriously. Hey, it's down there. You will never ever accidentally come find where we are. But I would just tell you something right quick. And we're gonna start we are your own. Let me tell you something. This ain't no regular brother right here. Not only was he a ferocious linebacker, this brother got a Vanderbilt education. Okay, so let's go get it twisted. This is a highly intellectual warrior right here. Let me tell you something. Anytime Anytime you leave the SEC in tackles as a freshman, hello, this brother could flat ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Jamie, and then you inducted it to the SEC legends recently. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Along, along with being one of the top 100 players in the history of Vanderbilt football. Yeah, yeah no question. Yeah. Anyway, ain't no question. Jamie. Yes, so, sir. We talk about Wetumpka. 
that's a mighty, mighty long way from uh, Vanderbilt Hall of Fame. Can, can you tell us about your journey? I mean, then, first of all, uh, after that, a 10-year career in the NFL, to go along with that, to tell us about your journey. Yeah, it, it, it um, you know, obviously it started in Wetumpka. Um, man, the thing was, and, and this is crazy. This is the crazy part about it. You know, I was in ROTC and all of that in high school. And to be honest with you, you know, I really had no 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 plans on playing no football. Mm-hmm. You know, I was going to the Marines. That's what I thought. You know, because, you know, of course, there were letters and stuff like that. You know, of course, I was getting attention and stuff. But, you know, I just really didn't see anybody that had did had went that course. So mm-hmm. it was kind of hard for me to. You know, I'm a realistic type of person, and I'm just like, well, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I no, nobody I know has ever did anything, you know, ever went to go play football or anything, right? So I end up, you know, obviously Coach Montgomery came down there and, and, and was trying to recruit me and stuff, and and I and I like the thing, I like the school and all of that as far as, you know, it was an opportunity, right? But, hell, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know any schools. You, you, I didn't know what to compare anything to, right? So right. what it really wound, wound down to was um, one of my coach's daughter was at our was at our school, and I think she had like a 4.0 GPA, right? Mm-hmm. And she just really wanted to go to Vanderbilt. Now, I, when they when coach first brought when my my coach came to me with the Vanderbilt, I didn't even know where Vanderbilt was. Didn't know they had a team. Didn't know any of that. You know, I really wasn't, you know, you didn't have that many channels on, on the TV, by the way. You know, right. And, and where we live, you don't catch a whole lot of them anyway. You, you know, a telephone pole, that. Coach. A telephone you, pole. Yeah, yeah. You, you get me? So yeah. when yeah. she was denied to go to that school, you know, I just thought to myself, you know, well, hey, that must be a really, really good school, really, really good opportunity. And, and my high school coach, Coach John Madaloni, said, Jamie, I'm going to be honest with you. Football is one thing, and if you can play, you can play, which we know you can play, but you just can't pass up on this opportunity to go to that school yeah. just for the education alone. And I said, well, Coach, you know what, man? I trust you. You've been looking out for me. You know, you you, you always have my best interest in hand. And I said, okay, Coach, well, that's what I'm going to go. And okay. uh, I went there, and, um, you know, we had a linebacker before me, Jamie Duncan, who went third round, um, you know, I redshirted behind him. Matter of fact, Carlton Hall, also um, who's all SEC player, also went to the NFL. Anthony Jordan, the other linebacker over there, also went to the NFL. And um, so it was. I just learned from those guys, really. You know that that year sitting back, sitting out, um, being redshirted. I just learned from those. I soaked up everything they had. You know, they taught me how to watch film. Corey Chavis. Uh, br- brilliant, brilliant, uh, brother, uh, Corey Chavis, who you know, Pro Bowler, all that good stuff, second rounder. Mm-hmm. He he made me come to his 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 apartment and sit there, and he had high, he he must have had five six hundred tapes. Okay, okay. And he showed me and made me watch film and and study yeah. and showed me what to look for, why this, why that, what you see. He just you know really put sent me through a boot camp there, really. Okay. You know, and um, you know, and I and I just talked to him not too long ago. I was thanking him for that because honestly, that really was what really helped me um, see things when I got to the field because I got a chance to watch stuff at practice. I mean, watch stuff on film with him, concepts and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And I go to practice, but I'm on scout team. Remember, because I'm red shirted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm eating this up because I see it, mm-hmm. and it got to the point where you know I was winning. Uh, you know. Scout team player of the week. Like every week, coach would just say, say, you know what, we just can't keep giving it to this guy. And then sometimes we'd get ready to play a good team, and coach would just tell me, okay, so you're going to sit out a team and you're going to sit out a nine on seven. And I'm like, why, coach? He was like, well, because you're destroying our offense's confidence, and that we can't have. It. <laughs> so here I am just sitting over there, like, okay, I guess this is what it is. And then my first year came, and I went out there, and it was just, you know, I was seeing it and stuff like that. I I, thought, I think I had to get in much better shape. You know, I wasn't ready to, to you know, for the level that it really was. Because, you know, I played against Mississippi State my first game. James Johnson, 
Um, you know, really, really good talent out there, man. And I think I might have had like 15, 16 tackles or something like that. And I don't think I played in the third quarter. I was getting an IV. Uh, ain't no question you could go Jamie. Jamie. Uh-huh. So did very successful career at Vanderbilt. Yes, sir. Now you 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 know, I saw you face to face now. You we you know, five eleven is generous. You more on that five ten side now. No, man, I'm five eleven and three. I'm yeah, telling you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, I am right, listen, right. no, no, serious business. Are you right? Jamie <laughs> Winboy, you ain't five eleven and platform shit on now. Like, look, look, look. But that's beside the point. That's beside the point. You go in the second round. Mm-hmm. You go in the second round and uh to the 49ers. Yes, and sir. We're gonna get, and we, I'm, I'm gonna get them. We're gonna get you. I'm gonna let you defend your position while your team gonna get their ass with. But that's a whole other story. But yes, before, I didn't know Jamie, you were drafted in the same draft with Cedric Wilson. That's my boy. Man, do you know now? This our this our board, Slim, at the University of Cincinnati. I got Jamie Winborn, linebacker with Tumka, Alabama. Cedric Wilson, we were recruiting him at Cincinnati as a quarterback. Yeah, from, yep. From Melrose like, High School. From Melrose yep. High School. Orange Mound. Orange Mound. Come on, man. Orange Mound. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's a tremendous athlete, man. Like people, and he understood the game because he played quarterback. I, but listen, I, yeah, we recruited him. I know. I didn't. I saw that. That was the 2001 49er draft. Yes, sir. I, I saw that Cedric Wilson. Damn. Orange Do Mountain. you see his son now? His son, Cedric, Cedric Wilson Jr. That with my that was with the uh Indianapolis Colts and now is with uh the Miami Dolphins. That's that's said son. Lil said that used to be in our locker room. That's him. He about six three, six he about six three. Wow. Oh yeah, see and see his and he balling. His coach Ted Thompson, all them guys, Melrose, Orange Mound. Yeah, man. Please, <laughs> please tell Cedric that you came on my show. I gotta, we gonna get Cedric Slim. We gonna get Cedric Wilson on the show. Oh yeah, no doubt. I, I text him right. I text him right after this. That's my duty. <laughs> right. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Now, all right now. Super Bowl Fifty Eight. You got the mm-hmm. floor. The, you got the floor. The elephant in the room. Uh, the San Francisco Forty Nine ers, Kansas City Chiefs. All right. Everybody gonna be a genius on Monday. Tell me now what's gonna happen. Well, I think we're gonna destroy him. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. The reason I say that is because you know you can call it luck, whatever you want to call it. But hey, listen here. You know it's about what you either gonna go play next week or you going home. But we're here. We're still here, right? You're right. None of those games have we played the kind of football that we're capable of playing. I, I, now, can I, can I, I'm going to let you finish your point, but can I say something right now? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are here, okay? But you're here because Jordan Love, like a rookie, at a very bad time, made a throw across his body, and you got a pick, and you beat Green Bay, okay? Because you should have got your ass whipped in that game. But yeah, go, go, come on, let me do now then, Detroit, Dan Campbell, forgot Just about forgot the run game. Forgot how to run the ball. Just yes. Blew a 24-7 to 7 lead. Uh, Jamie, blew a 24-7 to 7 lead. Detroit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. The coach is part of the team, isn't he? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stand on right? it, Jamie. Stand right? on it. And Jordan Love, the same rookie, is who got them to the playoffs. Uh, right. Yes, right. 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 part of the team, right? Right, right, right. Now, we're going to ride our guy, Babyface, all the way to a championship. Because, see, this is the thing. The Chiefs, they are one heck of a team. And their defense is, very, is really, really good. You know, Chris Jones, that's my boy. I love him. Okay. You know what I mean? But uh-huh. this, but the type of physical – we, you know, the Detroit Lions were a tough matchup for us, right? They, they really they were, were they because were. they had the type of players on the outside, you know, defense. Speak, I'm speaking on de- uh, Detroit offensively that they had some playmakers out there, and they had a dynamic guy uh, in the backfield, Gibbs. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, Montgomery is awesome too. He's a pounder, but Gibbs, you know, which you is mean, my trainer's nephew, by the way, that, that I used to. Good. 
Yeah, Jameer Gibbs, my oh. trainer, Todd Suttles at Vanderbilt. That's his nephew. So I was well aware of him, you know, coming in and being a guy like that. But okay. they were a better matchup for us, right? But when I look at the Chiefs here, we play better against teams like that. Okay. I feel like we play better against a a a a a, a quarterback like 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 a Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, if he had Tyreek Hill out there, okay. you know, okay, that's that's like a a, a serious game breaker type of guy. You know, okay. they don't trust that uh, scan uh, Vacan Scanlon, whatever his name is, but he's a beast. Okay. But they don't have the confidence in him. now. Kadarius Tony. He ain't suit up. Andy Reid. Andy Reid ain't letting him dress out. Jamie. Andy Reid ain't going to let Kadarius Tony dress out. That would have been a guy that I watch out for. You know, he's one of them dynamic guys. You just don't know. <clears throat> kind of like a Percy Harvin. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just don't know. You you know, at any given day, this kid could be, you know, could, way up here with it. But we ain't got to worry about him. We ain't okay. Worry. So now we're just talking about Rice. We can bracket that guy and, and we can let the rest of the defense eat. You see what I'm saying? Like, when I, of course, we got to worry about the quarterback, you know, scrambling here and there. But I just feel like our defensive line, we have not played a good game for like four or five weeks. And it's okay. just due. So now, Jamie, Jamie, mm -hmm. you played defense and you played with tenacity. Tell yeah. me what in the hell is wrong with Chase Young? Because he ain't showed up. And, 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 Steve, and Steve Wilkes threatened to bench him. Now, you know, you do know yeah. that, right? Steve yeah. Wilkes threatened to bench him. I saw it out there. Oh. You know, the thing is, when in the league, man, it just becomes a time period. You know, whatever team you're on, you know, it becomes a time where, where, where I remember, I'll give you an example. My rookie year, I was making plays left and right, right? Uh -huh. But Coach showed me a film of my homeboy, and he's defense end, Von Kurse. You know, in Nashville, when I played for the Titans, you know, me and Kurse was cool. I go over his house and all this good stuff. And, yeah, you know, they yeah. practice in our stadium before they, okay. they, they play they, to Florida. Play to Florida. Play, yeah, that's my boy. Okay. And, and, um, he so he showed me a tape of Freak. He's a freak, but he didn't play hard all the time. He didn't play hard all the time. No, but, but it, it was the effort that he was giving. He had these, these plays. So he, he's just showing me these plays. You know, we play two different positions. But basically what he was showing me was this is what we want and nothing else is accepted. Okay. And so what – What? And, and now with Wilkes getting on him in this okay. game, okay, I think you may see the best you've seen out of this kid. Oh, all right. So now, so now, before we, before, and I appreciate your time, Jamie. Before, before I let you go, I got to ask you this because – I got all night. I ain't got no job. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Yes, sir. Old saying a leopard won't change his spots. Leopard won't change his spots. So let me ask you this. How can you explain to me and what's going to be different in this Super Bowl from Kyle Shanahan, who has participated in two Super Bowls, mm -hmm. one as one as an offensive coordinator with the Falcons? Mm-hmm. One as a head coach in Super Bowl, and, and the old the, that was Super Bowl 51 when he was the OC with the Falcons under Dan Quinn, right over here in the NRG Stadium. So yeah, Dan Quinn, up. that's Dan Quinn, that's my boy. I, oh, I, okay. I met Dan, was Dan was an assistant coach back when I was at the 49ers. Okay, all right, just so you for me. Okay, so mm -hmm. so now Kyle Shanahan was Dan Quinn's OC in Super Bowl 51. Kyle Shanahan, Chet Kyle Shanahan was running his own show in Super Bowl Fifty Four. When this is a rematch, rematch Groundhog Day. This is a rematch. You, you want you want me you want to know what the difference is going to be? No, no, hold up. Well, no, here's a fact. You gonna tell me the difference? I'm gonna tell you the fact. Then I'm gonna let you explain it before you get out. Of okay, here, okay. Okay. All right. In them, <laughs> in, them, in them two Super Bowls, Kyle Shanahan is been outscored forty six to nothing in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Kyle Shanahan blew arguably one of the biggest Super Bowl blunders when the 49ers had, went off when the Atlanta Falcons had a 28 to 3 lead with three minutes left in the third quarter when when Tom Brady brought the Patriots back over here 
and energy. Explain that to me now, Jamie. Come on, well, homie. Well, well, I can go back and explain the the the, the Falcons when when they when they. Okay, the players on defense, they started sucking. They th listen, my boy, my boy Lance Shoulders, matter of fact, the head coach that's that the, the DB coach who is now the head coach now, Raheem okay. Morris, right. was the DB coach. All right. My boy Lance said he kept telling them, listen, you stop letting them leak two and three yards. Stay aggressive, keep playing because you're okay. playing Tom Brady. He, he said they wasn't listening, they talking to people, they, they you know they off in the crowd, they, they they thought they had it won, but they had not experienced a Tom Brady, right? Okay. okay, now when we talk about this third time, how I feel person about this Shanahan thing, he's gonna call he, he's gonna call that. There, there's levels to coaching, right? Right, right. You right. gain experience. Right. You ha he has something that's very important in his back pocket, and that's his dad. And I can guarantee you his dad is saying, son, now if we get a lead, you run that football because you know he coached McCaffrey's dad too yeah yeah and, yeah. and his dad is gonna let him know listen son you want to cross over that threshold and become right. great All right. run the football that's how I won my championships running the football yeah that's true that's true because 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 Mike Shanahan uh couldn't do nothing in the Super Bowl until they got Terrell Davis when he got to Real Davis, run, harnessed the running and harnessed the running game, they had effective and, and that is uh, your friend as within them hundred yards of field running the football is 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 your friend. You got to run the football. So okay, my brother, and I appreciate your time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you, Jamie. Hey man, hey, I so, appreciate so, it, man. So Jamie knows. Okay, all right. Got the flow. Final score, Super Bowl fifty eight. Final score. 35-14. They go hold Patrick Mahomes to 14 points. Yeah. Steve Wilkes in that 49 defense go hold Patrick Mahomes. Man, I ain't worried about Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes don't play no ball. Well, Steve Wilkes That's Craig Warner's defense. You know? I don't know what y'all talking about. Listen, man. Coaches, I a coach ain't made a play, ain't made a play. <laughs> Listen, I told you. come on now. I told you you gotta that. play. You you better play. If you don't like that call, Fred Warner, guess what? I didn't hear you, coach. Okay. So give me give me give me some scoops. Because he's smart enough. Okay, 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 okay. Give me some scoops. What am I gonna see? Enlighten my audience. Tell me something we're gonna see happen on Super Bowl on Super Bowl on Sunday, day after tomorrow. Well, what are some things we're gonna see? Super Bowl 58. So said Jamie Winborn. What will we see? You will see. I expect Chase Young to have a nice sack. I expect uh, Bosa to have two. Okay. Javon Hargrove to, to come out, and I expect him to get out there, you know, make some significant plays. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to manhandle them. You, th you, th you honestly think 35, you said 35 to 14. I said 35 to 14. 35 to 14. Listen, I, we are going to come out and play ball. See, we have not – Every game that we have, every playoff game that we've had, mm -hmm. we have not started fast, no, ever. No, no you have not started if, fast. Listen, if we get the going, because oh, that is the emphasis. You know, you know my boy, play, you know my boy, Bang Time Burks is on the, is, is on the team, right? Jamie. Oh, Jamie, and Burks is there. Jamie, it, Jamie. Listen, Jamie I'm telling you, you, you Jamie, asked me. I asked you, and you got the <laughs> but, but Jamie, Jamie, if you didn't start fast against Green Bay, and you didn't start fast against Detroit. How in the hell you think you're gonna start fast against Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes? Ammonia. You you ever heard of ammonia? <laughs> you put about twenty of them caps of ammonia in the ball. Okay. And you okay. sniff that before you take your butt out there on that field because this is the Super Bowl. You cannot. I repeat, you cannot wait to the second quarter, second half to start playing. Dominating football, you cannot do that. Okay, all right. And if they do, and if if listen, I'm just gonna have to. I'm calling. I'm gonna have to call in a fake bomb threat. Okay. If, if if they start, if they start off slow, I know that they're gonna be ready. I okay. know that they're gonna be ready. Trust okay. me. Oh my 49ers hat, it. it's right there. I got a 49 <laughs> everywhere. In here. I'm telling you, man. I've been telling everybody this for the longest, man. I, this I, is I, our year. Okay. All right, brother. Now. Jamie. 
you have me back. <laughs> well, I tell you, next time, next time we bring you back, I'm gonna have you and Cedric. We'll have four on the screen, the four of us, okay? Let's we do like, it. We're we'll hook it up like that. Hey man, listen, Jamie, serious business. Thanks so much, man. Hey, no um, problem, man. Anytime. You know, you listen, as soon as you call, you already know. I, oh, what's all my gun? What's up, baby? <laughs> Man, man, I love y'all, man, for real, man. I appreciate y'all, and uh, God bless y'all and y'all families. And uh, yeah, dude, you know what I'm talking about. And, hey, 35 14. 35 W. And you heard it from a San Francisco 49 alum and SEC legend right here, Jamie Winmore. Much love, brother. Much All love. right, peace out, man. Y'all be blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> wow. Wow. I told you, Slim, I knew he'd be pumped up for the 49ers. That's what love. He loved them Niners, man. Woo, 35 to 14, Mildred. Did you hear that? Man, 35 to 14. I can hear you. I can hear you. Sound. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Send another link and we can just shoot that over. Hey, how about now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All so right, you cool. can you can cut it from where it ended to this. Yeah, yeah, I can. Come on, let's finish. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, man, I told you, I swim. I knew he'd be pumped. I knew, I knew he would be pumped. Man, that dude, he led him forty nine. Thirty five to fourteen. I don't believe he's gonna dub. I I, I don't think he's gonna twenty one <laughs> home boy, man. I don't think it's gonna happen, coach. I don't think What's it's gonna happen. What's your take on this now? What's your take? Coach, first of all, do you believe in the uh, time paradox or deja vu or anything like that? We, hey, hey, Biden against Trump? Uh, Coach, we, we never left 2020. Oh, yeah, we never, we never left. left 2020. We never left. We never, we left. never left it. <laughs> Who was running for president? Biden, Biden versus Trump, president 2020. It was a leap year. Same people in the Super Bowl, dog. I'm telling you, we, we ain't left. 49ers and the Chiefs. It, There's going to be a new COVID. Groundhog Day. Don't, don't, please don't say another COVID. Please don't say that. But <laughs> damn. Yeah, man. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> but, Coach, uh, it's yeah. a rematch from Super Bowl 54. Absolutely. Uh, in that game, the 49ers blew a 10-point lead in the, in the fourth quarter, losing 31-20. to 20. Yeah. Now, Las Vegas likes the 49ers by two. Mm -hmm. Kansas City Chiefs, though, have been in the Super Bowl four of the last five times. Mm-hmm. Pops, the Chiefs have endured a three to five stretch in, okay. in October. A three How in the three world five. did they get to the Super Bowl? Yeah, you know, Slim, a three and five lose the street in October, and they right back in it. I'll tell you how they did it, Slim. Patrick Mahomes' resilience in the playoffs. The dude is 14 and three in the playoffs. He's thrown 39 touchdown passes in the playoffs and only seven INTs. This guy comes alive when it comes time to play for the money. The second thing, that uh, uh, Chiefs defensive front, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, George Carlotis and uh, Chris, Jones, Chris Jones, between them, Slim, between them, they got 24 sacks between them two. Between them two dudes. They're playing lights out. And Steve Pax Spagnola has that defense playing lights out. Slim, in the last, on their march to Super Bowl 58, they beat Miami. They beat the number one seed Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. And between them two games, Slim, they only gave up 17 points. Steve Spagnola got that defense playing lights out. So, hey, man, I'm just telling you, man, I don't see no 35 to 14, Jamie, but we're going to see. But, yeah, man, that's just, hey, yeah. Bob, the, the, the 49ers are making their eighth Super Bowl appearance. But mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that this season has not been a bed of roses for no the 49ers. Question. No question, Coach, no question. During week six and week eight, they lost three straight in a row. Browns, Vikings, Bank 
Bengals by uh, 19 to 17, Vikings 22 to 17, and the uh, and the Bengals 31 to 17. Yeah, lost three rows, man. Coach, the fact yeah. the fact is, the 49ers are only in the Super Bowl, like you said, because Jordan Love played like a rookie. As well as he played all throughout the season. And all as throughout well the as, season. And as well as he played when they go to Jerry World and blow the Cowboys out. But in that in the bewitching hour when they had to have it. So the bottom line is Jordan Love played like a rookie. He mm -hmm. did. And, and and he did. And coupled with the fact that Dan Campbell completely forgot about how to run the, the run football game. in the third quarter. You said you blow a 24 to 7 lead. Coach. You blow Coach. a 24 to 7 lead. So, you know, still, you look at these two teams, all right? Uh, uh, the Chiefs played two games to get the Super Bowl Sunday. The 49ers played two games to get the Super Bowl Sunday. The 49ers had a much easier road to Super Bowl 58 than the Chiefs mm -hmm. did. They did. They did. Man, Coach. Coach, let's talk. But before I let you go, let's talk about right, these uh, NFL hires. All right, bro. I'm all ready. I'm all ready. Shoot it. Shoot it. All right. Eight, job, eight jobs came open, three of them black. All right, Atlanta got Raheem Morris, former Rams defensive coordinator. I did. That's Las so Vegas funny. Raiders got Antonio Pierce promoted from his linebacker coach position, mm -hmm. and the New England Patriots got Jared Mayo, also yep. promoted from linebacker's position. That's right, and I was so happy, first of all, for Raheem Morris because they toyed with Bill Belichick at New England. Uh, Arthur Blank, owner of the of the uh, Falcons came out and said, we never officially offered him that job. But Raheem Morris was a a, a man that, and, and highly qualified, defensive coordinator at the Rams, has been a head coach in the National Football League already. So he had that experience. But more than that, he was nurtured in the Falcon organization. And so they got some things in place at Atlanta to be successful. They're a quarterback away. Okay, they got their boy Drake London, the wide out from USC. They got Kyle Pitts, the wide out slash tight end from Florida. And they got their boy B. John Robinson, that running back. They got some things in place in Atlanta. I'm excited for Raheem at, in that, and most of all, Slam, they in that NFC South where you got a chance to catch up real quick. Real quick. Yeah. The uh, the Panthers, uh, Dave Canales, former Bucks OC. Uh, yeah. Chargers got Jim Harbaugh, former head football coach of Michigan. Seattle, Mike McDonald, former Rams defense coordinator. Tennessee got Bill Callahan, former Bengals offense Brian coordinator. Brian Callahan. Brian Callahan. Brian Callahan. Bri Brian Callahan. Mm -hmm. uh, Washington got Dan Quinn, former uh, Cowboys defensive coordinator. Coach, yep. this has been some interesting hires. I can't wait for this next season, man. <laughs> I can't either. You know, I'll tell you something, man. Kudos to the Chargers. I think they hit a home run with that hire with, uh, with Jim Harbaugh. The guy's a proven winner. University of San Diego, Stanford. He goes to the 49ers, gets them to the NFC Championship twice and to the Super Bowl once. The guy goes to Michigan. He restores the credibility of that program, wins the national championship. And, man, mad kudos to Michigan for, for, for hiring Sharon Robinson. And, Slim, before we get out of here, man, big shout-out to our – who Wink Martindale – just got that he's going with uh, Sharon Moore to, to Michigan. Michigan, and that's a yeah. hell of a hire. Wayne yep. Martindale is a hell of a defensive coordinator. I look for Sharon Moore to have a lot of success at Michigan. No question about it. Coach, it's good to be in the studio with you, man. Man, dog, always a pleasure, man. Always tell a pleasure. Tell my mother I love her, all right? I will tell your mother I love her, man. Give my best to her last one up there. Good old Club City, Oklahoma. Hey, all the kid folk up there. Yeah, man, Slim, man, good to see you, my brother. Always. Too, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and finally, last night at the NFL Awards show, uh, the Walter Payton Award, which symbolizes the number one war award off the field for service in the community, was awarded to defensive tackle Pittsburgh Steelers Cam Hayward. And as Cam talked about his father, who was the role model in his life, the late Craig Ironhead Hayward, my heart was warmed. Iron was a friend of mine and a first class guy. And I know he's looking down from heaven and he's mighty proud of his son. I salute you, Cam Hayward. Jesus said, if any man would be great, 
but he first be a servant of all. And hey, that's how I see it. Six o'clock. Straight up and down. Look here, y'all. That's how we see it, and that's how that's it is. How it is. Better believe. Can't wait to do it again, man. Can't wait to do it again. Can't wait to do it again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Homespun Sports. Sports talk with a twist of down home wisdom. Jamie, thank you so much for being our, man, our special Jamie, guest. Man, Jamie, man. Jamie, man. Thanks, man. Jamie, thanks for making the show. And for me, really the 49ers, they ain't going to win that football game. No 30 Not by 21, Coach. No, that ain't happening. No, no. That ain't happening. And that's, no, no. That, again, that's how we see it, y'all. You Look, <laughs> be sure to catch this episode uh, on YouTube, you guys. Yo. It, it will be uploaded. It will be uploaded. Y'all stay safe out there. Make sure y'all watch the Super Bowl. And come on, my homeboy. Come, come on, my home. Come on, man. Come on, Chiefs. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, coach. What he said. What he said. There said. you go. There you go. We out of here. Later. <laughs>